Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 5. We're about to go and hand Whisker his shiny black ass on a platter. Alrighty. I fear for the world if that ever gets out. God damn it, Wesker. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. Yep, he is. Like it's something we should care about. <laughs> Wait. An assault bomber? When Jill said Wesker was planning to spread Uruboros throughout the world. He's planning to use this to spread it. Wesker! There he is! Come on, let's go! Jill! Are you alright? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just listen carefully, there's something I need to tell you. Wesker's superhuman strength. It comes from a virus. But the virus is unstable. In order to maintain a balance, he must inject himself regularly with a serum. So if he cut the supply of serum, he loses his strength? Affirmative. But he just took a dose, so it's gonna be a while before he needs another one. Listen, Excel said that the amount administered has to be precise. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used a serum label PG-678W. PG-678W? I'm gonna try to find a way to escape. You need to find that serum. Excel always kept it with her, in an attaché case. Jill! Come in! Jill! Shit. Chris. This is it. Let's give it a shot. Alrighty then. We have some plot developments. He can't fly around in that without getting shot down. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. If it does, it will initiate a biohazard. It's just like Jill said. He's planning to spread this virus worldwide. Oh dear, whatever shall we do? <laughs> Warning, fire detected in the engine room. Warning, steering off area with battery bulkhead. Evacuate the area immediately. Warning. Oh, I hate this part so much, but it must be done. I have possibly the weirdest loadout. Uh, <laughs> I have two sniper rifles. I found. Since I loved using sniper rifles in the last uh, section I run, um, I figured, hell, let's take two and dual wield them at the same time. <laughs> one scope, one eye. <laughs> that would be the most ridiculous thing ever. Look out, Shiva! I will shoot through you to save you! And then we shall climb a ladder. Ah, uh, let's play around with the shoddy for a bit. Hello, Mr. Dude with... Uh, electric thingy? <laughs> Shock stick? Or whatever. Hurry up with the bulkhead, yo! I hear enemies! And it's all like... Supplies. Oh, maybe not. Yes, yeah. Surprise. Hello, Cephalos or whatever they're called. Is it any coincidence that uh, the whole Cephalos name has uh, is reminiscent of the um, the term phallic, <laughs> and also the enemy looks somewhat penis-like. I mean, not healthy penis-like, but. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Time for a sniper rifle! Oh, wait. Wait, does that mean that there's a guy with a shock stick right there? Yeah, close call to snipers. That's where it's at. Yeah, saving bitches like it's no one's business. <laughs> Two for one.
Here we go again. Boom. Ah, uh, discard. Yes. Ah, uh, that was a shotgun. Yes, that was a shotgun. I wanted that. Good work, Sheva. Measure of intelligence. Okay. Wrong side. I love this section for sniping. It's just supremely satisfying. Um... Okay, what do we got? We got a guy with a rocket launcher. Being a dick. If I can get him before he gets me. Oh, there he... Here he comes. Boom. Holy shit, rocket launcher's out. The wazoo. Ah, oh, crap. Gotcha. They're everywhere! Okay. We're alright, we're alright. So yeah, here's another place to pick up dead brides necklaces. Um, if you are so inclined. Ouch. Put off opening the door just yet. And use it. Yep. Intelligence win. I'm just going to try and clear out as much crap as possible from the section before opening the next bulkhead. That's handgun ammo. Okay. You just stack up on all that crap. You probably want to get rid of the grenades at some point though, Shiver. Not the most useful things to have at the moment. Where's that guy? Gotcha. Alright. Okay, time to open the bulkhead. Ow, fuck. Um. I don't remember this, uh, there being this many guys. I'm using all my rifle ammo, which isn't good, but that's okay. Okay, there was one more guy I heard. There he is. Okay, Shiro, let's do this. Now I have to deal with this shit. Where is he? See, I learned stuff. Sort of. Turn around and face me. Excellent! Grab the power stone. I want to get up the, up the top. So where is that? Where it's at? Because 
we're about to face off with some extremely annoying enemies. And one of the primary reasons why I severely dislike this level. There we go. Alright, assholes. Just keep the other one occupied, Shiver. Ah, crap. Oh, he's buggered off somewhere. So, it's time for us to move on. Hello. Let's try and maintain an offense from here. You need to be careful. Come into range, please. So I gotta keep an eye on where's the other guy. I suppose he's gonna come looking for us at some point. And I prefer to let him come to us. If I can help it. Might need to get his attention, hopefully not. Sounds like he's on his way. Grab that while I'm here. Okay. Where is he? I just saw a guy coming. Probably taking a little bit too long with this. Need to draw him out. That's a problem. Okay, shiver, get on that. I'm gonna go attract him. Okay, what do I have in the way of weaponry? Sheva, did you let it over hate? Come on, Roger. Okay, I'll take over from here. God damn it, where is he? Wait, is he down? Yeah, he's down. Sweet. Oh, that was relatively successful, I think. Um, I'm just gonna go on some... Uh, Go on a supply run because we're about to hit shit city.
Um, what else? What else? I'm pr pretty much wasting my time with this, but I do need ammo. Ah, god damn it. Oh, did you pick up the... Damn it, Shiver. Oh, I might have just despawned. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to tackle... Whisker. With my limited resources. But at least I still have my full Magnum. This could be a difficult final boss fight. Okay, just gonna rearrange some stuff. That's all I have to do. Something doesn't feel right. I can't explain it. Yeah, I hear ya. Don't let your guard down for a second. Here we go. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. Boss battle time. I'll see you dead. Okay, that one's broken. You grab it. Okay. Chris, I need you to distract him. Yep. I'm on it. I'm going to turn out the lights. If we take advantage of the shark, we might actually hit him. Oh bitch. You silly silly bitch. Could have waited a little bit longer. <laughs> I think this section is uh, probably one of the most frustrating parts of Resident Evil 5. Chris, I need a warhead. Yeah, no, he's kind of like right there, so. We're going to have to mosey on. Come on. Okay. We need to go around. Come on, Sheva, let's go on a trip. Why is my map not up? Dang it, what's the map button? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Has it never? That this planet is overpopulated. Do it, Shiver. Fire! Truly matter. 
go! No! Dun 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 dun! Do it now! Give him the shot! Shit! And that's why it pisses me off. So you may get so close. All right, I'm gonna go get another round. I have a feeling that might have been one in that uh, crate that I just went past, but who cares? I'm gonna start stocking up on the ones that are up here. Okay, I'll pick up that for later. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just the music sort of just kind of pompous, dramatic stuff. Okay, now we're gonna run away. Let's go, Shiva. Come on, Roger. Let's hide out here. Or, you know, go around. You can't hide forever. Ah, oh, god damn it, Sheva. I'll get a rocket. No, I got it. Damn it, that's more of the the same. Ah, there you are. Yes, here I am. Dun, 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 dun. God damn it. <laughs> I sort of was just one of those really catchy dramatic uh sound uh soundtracks. Full of tubers and good feelings. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. God dang. <laughs> I am a Muppet. Alright, Shiva. Yes! Dodge 12 seconds too late! <laughs> but he sucked at shooting me at point blank range. Anyway, so that's cool. Uh, I'll get the rocket launcher. Uh, Chill. DNA. Oh wait. Ah oh, crap. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I don't realize you had one loaded. Do it now. Give him the shot. Yes, you bastardo.
Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Your feeble attempts only delay the inevitable. The entire world will be infected. A new genesis is at hand, and I will be the creator. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Alrighty, lava boss fight, how typical. Can you say cliche? Alright, now I've got severe <laughs> ammo issues. What can I grab? Lots of handgun ammo. Not a lot else. Oh, rifle ammo. Um. Yeah, you take that for now. I'll take that. Um, which is a better rifle? Druganov has better damage. I need ammo. Take this. Thanks. You grab it. Okay. Okay. I think that's all the items. Oh wait, no. Hand grenade. Take it. Take okay. the hand grenade because stuff. All right. Um, there is one little tiny trick to this level uh, in getting the final unique treasure of the game. So uh, I need to reconfigure that. Um, do that. And everything should be hunky dory. Um, I don't know which is the best weapon to do this. Hopefully, I can pull it off with this. Should have killed you years ago. Chris. Your mistake. It's over, Wesker. Over. <laughs> I'm just getting started. 
started. Well, there he is, the bastard. And before we cross this bridge... There we go. You have to shoot that down before doing this. Otherwise you can't get access to the final unique treasure. And a minute. So here we go, final treasure of the game. The, I think, Opal Diamond. I'm just gonna have to run past. Thank you, Shiva, for providing the cover. He's getting supremely mad. Losing his shit, really. This bit is supremely easy with uh, an infinite ammo sniper rifle, but I only have 10 shots, so I'm going to have to be uh, smart about it. Just hold on. Okay. Um. Yep, doing that. Oh crap. I have no ammo. Ah crap. <laughs> and now we have issues. Okay, time for the most ridiculous feat of strength I've seen in a video game. Possibly ever, but uh, <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. I will punch a rock until it falls into a river of lava. And I put my controller down because it's time to move back to regular old keyboard and mouse scheme. So I don't believe we have to do a lot of dodging from now on. Your You're face judge requires us. judgment. You get all your ideas from comic book villains? Yeah, this is go gonna go supremely well with the resources I have. Ah, yep. Dun! Dun, dun! Alright. Let's see what we can do. I've saved my Magnum for this exact purpose, and hopefully it will serve me super well. Otherwise, you know. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, that's a rock. I can't kind of deal with that. Okay, now we're going to get this. Alright, covered back up for the moment. What can we do, Shiva? What can we do indeed? Not the bloody penis hurricane again. 
tornado, I should say, not hurricane. Shut up, I'm not a meteorologist. Oh, that was... <laughs> I wasn't even watching the screen when that happened. Yeah, Roy! Bring the pain! Okay, Shiva, keep him occupied. I'm gonna go around back. Where is he? Ah, oh, crap. No, 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 no. Asshole. Why is he, like, striking rockstar poses? It's just ridiculous. You're just some pretentious guy in a shiny suit. Running out of options here. I can't do not for you. Go, Roger. Ah, shit. Help. Give me that juice. Thank you. You asshole.
over. Yes. Finally. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. For a future without fear? Yeah, it's worth it. And there we have it, the end of Resident Evil 5. They like their going off into the sunset endings, or at least judging from uh, Resident Evil 4's ending as well. So that was that. That was quite fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. Um, that last level went off slightly better than I uh, thought it would, um, despite my lack of ammunition, but I, I, co I coped. Um, so yeah, that last... Um, I just smacked my headphone cable. <laughs> that last quick time event that I changed over to, to my controller for, the two triggers with the rocket launchers. I mentioned this a couple of times earlier in the series that when I was playing co-op with my mate, that <laughs> final thing, we'd marathoned the entire game in one single session. We got up to that point, he fucking misses the prompt. <laughs> It was hilarious, and we had a good laugh about it, but seriously, drop the ball there, mate. <laughs> um, but yeah, I reckon uh, that was quite a successful Let's Play. I did miss two treasures. Um, the uh, I stupidly missed the Ruby Oval, I believe it is, which is on the level with uh, the temples and the statue chain puzzles. After I defeated the... Uh, the mutated bat boss of that level. I forgot to go and pick up the ruby oval from the statue that I pulled prior to the initiation of that boss battle. So that's where the ruby oval is if you were so worried about me missing it. The other one I missed is an emerald, I think trillion possibly. It's definitely one of the, uh, the emerald ones and that was uh, because I was so preoccupied with getting the Heart of Africa whilst facing Wesker and Jill the first time. Uh, in this part where you face Jill, you can go up the stairs and along one of the balconies and the Emerald is just sitting at the end of one of those balconies. And I was so preoccupied with Heart of Africa that I totally forgot about it. But those are the only two that I missed, I believe. So, but if you're concerned about the treasures, uh, you probably would have looked at a guide long before this. I'm just sort of filling in any gaps simply because uh, I feel it necessary to kind of wrap up my let's play. Otherwise everything else should be done. I got all 30 of the BSAA emblems to my knowledge and yeah all the treasures but the two that I mentioned there. I'll double check um, in the inventory once I finish up with all the credits here. The song's really annoying for me to narrate to because it's like <laughs> my ears. I apologize sincerely for that outburst. It won't happen again. <laughs> Must be like the fifth time I've said over the course of my Let's Playing career, in air quotes, <laughs> that I've said, that I've sung, and then promised never to sing again. Ah, fuck it. I'll do what I want. <laughs> um, I'm making wild gesticulations, and you can't see me. So, once again, that is a pointless thing for me to be doing. <laughs> I don't know, if, if I could figure out how to do some picture-in-picture -picture stuff, I could maybe one day, when I get a decent camera, I should be getting one soon, um, to do some visuals of me up in the corner of a, me playing a game, possibly, if I find it worthwhile. I don't really think I do a lot of interesting stuff whilst playing, it would be kind of pointless, um, but maybe for these sort of wrap-up bits where I'm kind of flailing around. Whatever. <laughs> totally irrelevant. Should be really talking about wrapping up Resident Evil 5. Um, well, there you have it. I've wrapped up Resident Evil, Resident Evil 5. Still remains one of my favorite games of all time. It's a very fun game. I just find that uh, towards the latter parts of the game, the last couple of uh, chapters, you deal with a lot more annoying enemies and situations. And when you're constrained by um, ammo management, yada yada, uh, it can be quite frustrating. 
but ultimately rewarding because once you finish the game you unlock all the uh, excellent little perks and uh, mutators and whatever you want to call it, infinite ammos, um, infinite rocket launchers, yada yada, uh, which is all very fun stuff and extends the life of this game so much more. Like, if you consider it just on the basis of the story, you run through it once on a difficulty of your choosing. It's not the greatest experience. I mean, the, the first half, I think, is amazing. It's really, really fun. Beautiful visuals. Uh, story is a little lacking, but I don't really concern myself with it because uh, having come into this game a Resident Evil virgin, I wasn't really concerned with the mythos or what was going on. I just wanted to play some fun games, and I got that. Um, but of course, if you consider it just on the single-player campaign, uh, within the confines of the story, it ain't great. <laughs> but once you unlock all the extra perks and mercenaries mode and everything, it extends the life of the game so much more, and I've had a hell of a lot of fun going back through, playing with uh, tricked-out weaponry on infinite ammo, infinite rocket launches, and it just makes you feel like a god, just blowing stuff away with your arsenal. <laughs> and, uh... That will always be endorsed in video games. I think that's what we all desire if playing a shooter is just a f or any game really is just to feel powerful and blow stuff away in a very fun manner. This is a long credit sequence, uh, but that's okay because I got stuff to say. Um, it sounds like it's wrapping up. Maybe now, Ooh, maybe. I yeah, don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't know why I have so much energy. <laughs> Yep, no, I really don't know. <laughs> um, what else can I say about Resident Evil 5? I guess that's probably about it for my thoughts on Resident Evil 5. Um, my Let's Play that will be replacing this in my schedule will be a blind run of Doom 3, which uh, sort of fulfills the horror uh, component of my channel. Um, not that I've really kind of designated my channel to be a a semi-horror or horror gaming channel. I just, I've leaned towards those games to a degree because they're interesting for people to watch, I find, or at least I always enjoy watching, uh, watching horror games simply because <laughs> I'm a little bit of a bitch and I, uh, don't like to be scared by games. So watching other people play, I'm just like, yay, that's cool. But also, yep, now nah, bad clear time. Oh, and really horrible accuracy, for that matter. That's okay. I knew I was going to get a bad clear time because I uh, mucked around a little bit too much. Um, so there's all the rankings. That's cool. <laughs> uh, I'll take that. I wasn't really going for an S run-through anyway, um, since I've done it before. It's just with the commentary, I tend to take a little bit longer in considering stuff. Um, so yes, but back to Doom 3. Uh, that will be my next... Let's play uh, to fill the Resident Evil 5 slot that is going to be left open. Um, I'm just going to check the treasures out. Let's have a look at that. It should be one of everything except for the two that I mentioned. So yeah, we got what do we got? Yep, gold ring, all present and correct. I've sold all the extras over the course of the let's uh, the let's play to upgrade whatever is still outstanding. Yeah, there we go. There's the Ruby Oval. I mentioned where that was located. Uh, Emerald Brilliant. Not Trilliant. Brilliant. Um, those are the only two that I've missed. Everything else is excellent, as someone might say. So I can sell all the rest of that shit and uh, <laughs> finish upgrading all my weaponry. That's cool. Ah, oh, wait. No, no. Yes. <laughs> I'm not initiating a new game. Um, yeah, so Doom 3. That should be fun. I have actually played, uh, many years ago I played Doom 3 on the Xbox, and I uh, got quite far, but I have absolutely no recollection of uh, how anything progresses, except for maybe like the first 5-10 minutes of the first level. I can't remember anything about the plot, I don't know where all the jump scares come out, I can't remember where you get the weapons, I don't know any of the codes for opening lockers, yada yada yada. So, for all intents and purposes, it will be a blind let's play. 
Oh, what have I still got? A few more levels to do on veteran. Um, yeah, I'm just wasting time now. Uh, that is the situation as it stands. I'll be getting on to Doom 3 sometime in the near future. I'll be continuing on with Half-Life 2 and Fallout 3. And I've got one more episode to upload for... Uh, the Warrior of Newport. When I get around to doing this upload, I may have actually finished Warrior of Newport, considering that I still have... At the time of recording, I still have uh, one more Resident Evil 5 video to upload in the sequence of level progression. So I'm going to wrap it up there. It's been quite a long wind down. I know I've said a lot of words. Uh, don't know if I've said a lot of worth, really. I think I have. But I'll let you be the judges of that. So, thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I, as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed playing through this as well, despite my gripings. It's always always the case, as I always bitch and moan about what I'm doing at any particular time, and any particular level with a let's play, but at the end, I'm always pleased with the result, and I, I love commentating and doing this stuff. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will be back with more let's plays in very short times. <laughs> Soon. Don't know when, but it will be soon. So until then, have yourselves a good one. Crack open a few beers. And sit back, relax. Take your fucking Prozac. And I will see you next video.